Hello, Maxim. Hello, Katia. Nice to see you again. Just wanted to ask you a few questions about gays and gay rights. Yes, please. Maxim, you wrote and published a brochure against homophobia. What was the purpose of this brochure? Yes, uh, I published it in 2008 and um, it was the first um, anti-homophobia brochure in Karelia. It's, uh, Karelia is the northwestern part of Russia near Finland and St. Petersburg. And uh, I'm originally from Petrozavodsk and uh, I was the first guy who published such kind of brochure. And the purpose was to form uh, um, tolerant, adequate attitude among uh, people towards LGBT people. So, and I interviewed uh, a lot of interesting uh, persons, uh, professionals, like famous journalists, um, psychologists, philosophers, uh, Soviet dissidents and um, human rights activists, conflictologists. So a lot of nice and well-educated people and I wrote my own article about uh, LGBT rights. I would like to educate people, to make people more informed about LGBT community about LGBT rights and uh, to accept them, to change the negative attitude, negative reaction on uh, gays and lesbians. And what was the public attitude towards you after publishing this brochure? So. I must confess that it was a negative attitude because our society um, isn't ready to accept these ideas, to accept uh, LGBT rights and uh, human rights as well. So it was some kind of scandal and in internet, in forums, uh, people started to discuss me and uh, to um, to speak n not so good about me and about this idea and uh, to charge me and um, to tell uh, bad things. Um, unfortunately, I faced with a negative reaction from my compatriots. Yes, I know that Russia is not a safe place for gays. People are beaten, they live in fear. How did you feel yourself in Russia? Yes, it's true, Katya, because we have a, a long uh, tradition to oppress people and uh, to live in a totalitarian regimes. So we have no freedoms, we have no democracy and of course um, you know about anti-gay law and uh, the roots, the historical roots based on um, of course Gulag and Stalin repressions and the big influence of a uh, Russian Orthodox Church which um, denies uh, gay rights. Orthodox people um, think that homosexuality is a sin and uh, strongly prohibited by uh, God's law, God's uh, words. And uh, of course it's uh, we live in in, in Russia we live in hierarchical society and uh, people very aggressive. Uh, they, they try to compensate their um, uh, bad status quo and uh, 
they are not satisfied by their life uh, conditions. Uh, and do you contact with gay community? Have you ever visited gay prides? Yes, I I have contacted with the gay and LGBT rights organizations in Moscow, in St. Petersburg, and in my own city, Petrozavodsk. So I know people and uh, they mm, try to uh, defend their rights and to organize themselves. And I took part in uh, different kinds of seminars, uh, conferences and trainings for LGBT activists. So, and as for Gay Pride, uh, this year I visited uh, Gay Pride in Antwerp. And I must say that when I was living in Antwerp, of course it's a very nice country with a lot of events, with a lot of uh, nice activities. And um, it's a very interesting uh, city for living. But uh, Gay Pride, it was some kind of exception because it was really nice, it was a um, fantastic event with a lot of nice people, uh, with a lot of, with a full joy, with full of happiness, with full of sexuality, and the people really enjoy their lives and their orientation and their lifestyles, and they share with all of us uh, their good energy and their positive energy and um, uh, love, love, and uh, it was great. So it was a manifestation of freedom, and um, it was very nice. And I, I really enjoy uh, this gay pride. And when you lived in Russia and were engaged with these activities. Did you feel fear? No, I did not feel fear, but I had uh, some threats from people, from internet, and finally I, I was uh, prosecuted by uh, investigating committee and by Federal Security Service for my human rights activities and for my um, s civil journalism. I wrote some critical article about uh, Russian Orthodox Church and um, uh, Federal Security Service started to prosecute me. So absolutely illegal and um, they had no any reasons and any basis, um, any foundations to prosecute me. So and uh, they tried to put me into a psychiatric hospital and uh, and uh, they asked uh, a, a lot of money f from me to stop uh, the prosecution and they threatened me and they um, i i felt uh, psychological pressure from them and they, they searched my house and they took my computer and some other stuff. So it was an awful time for me when I faced with the criminal uh, Russian state and uh, criminal intelligence services like FSS. So, and I decided to move from Russia into Estonia and in Estonia I uh, was granted uh, with the uh, asylum. It is really dangerous to live in Russia and uh, to be an LGBT rights activist or human rights activist. Or <clears throat> it's, it's very dangerous to criticize authorities and uh, to spread uh, uh, democratic ideas, uh, democratic values and to talk about human rights and especially LGBT rights and to criticize uh, uh, Russian institutions, Russian state institutions like church because Russian Orthodox Church is, a, is a, some kind of state institution as well. So and uh, it, I, I had to move from Russia to save my 
to save my life and to save my health. I had no fear before I faced with the prosecution. And do you continue your activity in Estonia? I am still a human rights activist and uh, I still uh, see uh, some social problems and including Estonia because Estonia is a post-Soviet country it's not um, a Western country like uh, the Netherlands or Belgium or United Kingdom and in Estonia we have some uh, problems with uh, uh, people's st stereotypes with folk stereotypes and the attitude to um, homosexuals, to LGBT as well as uh, refugees and uh, <clears throat> I see some kind of racism, afrophobia, xenophobia here and homophobia as well and I try to change this situation to enlighten people's minds and uh, to share these um, uh, thoughts uh, in Estonia as well and I have published a book of anecdotes about refugees and in fact this is uh, not just anecdotes not just jokes but it's a, some kind of humor satire it's a satire on uh, local Estonian politicians conservative who is very conservative who uh, cannot accept people from with um, another skin color, another backgrounds, another race who scared about them and I mocked on this and it's so funny for me, it's so ridiculous to see uh, people, politicians, former Minister of Foreign Affairs or Deputy of uh, uh, European Parliament who scared about black people and uh, who scared about uh, Muslims, who scared about refugees. So, and uh, to see um, a lot of uh, representatives, members of conservative party of Estonia who scared about uh, homosexuals that LGBT people is so, some kind of threat to a traditional family and uh, Estonian values traditional values and etc etc so they really don't understand uh, the nature of um, homosexuality and um, I think they have no open mind uh, and uh, th they live in Soviet past, I guess, with the Soviet stereotypes and etc. I try to change their minds and uh, to show that it, it's not a real problem. A real problem is uh, conservatism. C Confirmism and bad e education. So, human rights is not a problem. Human rights is a privilege. Human rights is advantage. Human rights is a goal, is an aim of any democratic society. And um, and the Estonian society will win if they really accept human rights and tolerance and diversity. So I try to uh, say it. And uh, when did you understand that you are a gay? Katya, I'm not a gay, thinks, but everybody thinks that I'm gay. But I'm just a human rights defender who tried to defend LGBT people rights but it doesn't matter who are you we are we are all human beings and all of us have the same rights the same human rights and 
this was my idea which I tried to share with my people, with the Russian people. And this is my principle. Katya, all people are equal. And um, I would like to share these thoughts with my compatriots, with the people from Russia. And um, uh, because it's very important for us to be to live in equal society and to feel ourselves free. Okay, Maxim, thank you so much for this talk. It was nice to see you again. Thank you so much, Katya. It was nice to talk to you. Thank you for your questions. Wish you all the best.